are talking Malnazidos. Or at least that's how I think you pronounce this Spanish movie. Its English title is Valley of the Dead and is a zombie movie. Now, um, this is obviously a Spanish language zombie movie, um, hence the original title there. Um, and takes place within this Spanish Civil War. Uh, so, but if you're not familiar with the, uh, the, the Spanish Civil War, don't worry. This movie does include Nazis, actually are kind of real bad guys. So this could be classed as a kind of a Nazi zombie movie. What is the, what is the story then? Well, ultimately focuses on two sides of this particular, obviously this, the Spanish Civil War. Primarily on this one particular guy who's our kind of our main character. Uh, who is sent on a kind of a, a mission with a kind of a young driver and there he encounters kind of the, the kind of the rival uh, side in the kind of the Spanish Civil War and um, he's originally taken prisoner but they but they all discover um, there may, may well be a kind of undead menace which obviously threatens everyone and they kind of have to team up with a couple of other people that they find along the way as well to try and tackle this uh, this kind of zombie menace together, which may have the Nazis behind it. So we have the, this tower of these two sides in this civil war kind of cut, coming together to overcome, uh, you know, a common objective. So let's talk about it. What I think works in this movie. So as the film went on with this one, I actually got more and more invested into it. I initially kind of struggled a little bit with it, which I'll talk about in a, in a minute. But I have to say, um, once the kind of we have these two sort of sides that are working together, I think the movie really kind of hit its stride with some fun characters to start with. Now, I was initially a little bit perturbed by one of them, but I think once you kind of get to know the characters and stuff, once we have they have a little bit of screen time and kind of settle into their roles, I have to say uh, we have a, you know quite a, a, a fun selection of characters all of whom have kind of quite distinct kind of personalities and sort of caricatured things like this. Um, you don't want to go too much into kind of telling you, breaking down all the character types. Suffice to say there is, you know, there's a fun group who are very distinct. And I think that's, that's testament to the way they're written and obviously the, the performances as well. So, I, I, and I quite like that. I also like the movie's scale. This movie actually has a, you know, a fairly kind of like, big production feel. There's a scene, for example, um, later on in the, in the movie where we have uh, an attack on kind of like a, a, like a Nazi base almost. And there's a shot, for example, where we see all these zombies that are kind of standing on these, the hills kind of that surround it. And it's a really kind of like eerie uh, shot. It just has like an absolute ton of extras and things like that. And it just shows you how many kind of like, I mean, I, I don't, I'm assuming they're extras rather than digital actors, but it just looked really impressive with the, with the high amount of um, extras that are involved, but also lots of different kind of like uh, location shooting. We have a, kind of a big finale in this kind of train station. Um, you know, we have like internal kind of scenes. We have external scenes in the woods like that. Um, you know, Nazi bases, things like this. So uh, I think it has a good amount of production value in there. So it looked a, a pretty slick production. I think it has a great bad guy. We have this kind of Nazi commandant sort of character. I'm not quite sure of his rank. I'm just going to call him a commandant. Uh, and he's like, you know, the, the, the guy that they've cast is really sort of tall guy. And he comes across as really snidey and kind of like menacing. And like, if you turn your back, uh, you know, to him, he's going to knife you and things like that. And he, he just, you know, really kind of like, again, a kind of a fun character. Uh, the zombies seem kind of quite dangerous. They are they turn pretty quickly. They don't go too overboard with kind of like decaying makeup because these are relatively kind of fresh uh, zombies. But it kind of makes sense in the kind of the uh, the context of the actual actual movie itself. Um, but there is some quite you know some quite kind of decent kind of set pieces that include the zombies. It's not a particularly kind of gory film to be honest, but nonetheless I think you still do get the the, the sense of the danger that these things are kind of like. Uh, um, you know, represent the kind of obviously the people at large, and ultimately it has a quite a kind of a good message about kind of like overcoming one's differences and things like that. And you do see examples where we have a you know two sides, uh, and they, there's various characters within each of those sides, all of whom originally have a little bit of prejudice towards the other, and you see these kind of bonds kind of uh, uh, starting to kind of like you know 
main fences ultimately as the, as the film progresses. So it actually does have quite a kind of uplifting kind of feel to it. It's well paced and it's also I think well directed as well. I think it's just the movie that the movies kind of flow. It always has this kind of like this upward and forward momentum. It starts a little weak but I think you know once it gets going it is pretty strong. So what doesn't work? So as I've mentioned I think the, the, the biggest problem for me with this movie was probably the first 15 to 20 minutes because it was kind of, it just didn't seem particularly kind of interesting. I think a lot of that was our introduction to our kind of our main character because he's like a kind of um, a typical kind of smart mouth, almost like Ryan Reynolds-esque kind of start character who's like, you know, lipping off for everyone. I just thought, oh, he's going to be unbearable. Um, this, 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 a very sort of typical kind of like, cocky character who's like you know anti-authoritarian and things like this he's just kind of like you know, you know flipping off and when he's he's about, you know, he's about to get executed at the beginning of the movie we find him and he's just like it's kind of um his attitude towards it thinking oh it's going to be one of these kind of like it's going to be one of these smart aleck characters it's, it's just going to grate on your nerves as the film progresses and it, it, it's true initially and then he's introduced this other character who's like his driver this young kid and again, he's, oh, he's going to be the, the dopey character, the, 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 the dopey sort of comic relief. And I was like, oh, God, you know, these characters are going to be unbearable to kind of watch. And they were initially, for me at least, but as the film kind of progressed, I do think they uh, they fleshed them out a lot more. And I actually ended up liking these characters, but it took, just took a little while to get there. Um, I think more could have been said about the actual kind of Civil War itself. I think anyone who is not familiar uh, with the kind of the actual civil war itself. Um, obviously this being a, a Spanish movie, I think it's assuming that people are somewhat aware of the history behind it, but I think any, anyone outside Spain may not know exactly what it was all about and stuff like that. So I think it could have done a better job of, of really having a little bit of, of world building in regards to uh, what actually kind of happened there. Um, and you know, w why are the Nazis involved and things like this. You know, obviously it's all it's all out there in the internet if you want to have a look. But you know, when you're watching this film, if people aren't, aren't familiar with it, I don't think I don't I don't know if the movie did a particularly kind of good job, um, really kind of setting up. Because you'll almost be forgiven for thinking it's a World War Two movie because uh, you have the Nazis on the screen at the kind of the very kind of the beginning, but it, it isn't. You know, um, so yeah, a little bit more work kind of world building on in regards to kind of that as well and it, again it's just a little bit a little bit more detail in regards to the nazis plans involving these zombies we get a, a brief bit but i don't know if i would have liked to have had a little bit more time devoted to kind of like the nazis kind of screen time and to see what they're actually you know what their actual intentions was and things like it just kind of skips over that to be, to be honest with you a little bit so a few kind of story elements aside um i do think this movie is pretty strong i enjoyed it and like i said it took me a, a little while to get into it but i think if you stick with it you'll really enjoy it um and even characters who personally i wasn't so keen on i grew to actually quite enjoy as the film kind of progressed and then, you know and we do get character deaths and i was kind of sad to see some of these dialogue and then i wanted everyone to survive and of course that's not going to happen but overall, this is a fun movie. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit, actually. Uh, and I'm actually going to give it an 8 out of 10. This is a solid watch. Um, uh, you know, very a very fun zombie movie. So 8 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.